This is Win News. Tonight, a new report stirs debate over the privatisation of the port. It's been revealed that Port Kembla has the highest financial return on assets of any publicly run port in the country. Detailed in a new report by Infrastructure Australia, the information adds heat to the debate about the privatisation of the facility. One of the biggest bombshells in this year's state budget was the possible privatisation of Port Kembla. Now reported to public ports by Infrastructure Australia, says ours has the highest return on assets in the country. The Port Corporation is definitely one where there is a very strong and solid business case that goes with it. According to Infrastructure's report, Port Kembla has a return of 3.8% on all of its assets, including the coal, grain and car terminals. That's well above the national average of just 2.1%. While the numbers are strong, experts say they are still well below international standards. Infrastructure Australia supports the privatisation of Port Kembla to help improve those figures. Privately owned ports in Australia are doing extremely well and providing great services back into their community. Publicly owned ports in many cases are struggling. Kembler is better than a number of others, but we think it could still improve and do things better. Unions say while local figures are amongst the strongest in Australia, things should remain the way they are to help the port continue to build. If it's so good, why sell it? What have we got to gain other than losing a valuable revenue stream? The Port Kembla Port Corporation says the strength of this facility is its diversity and with expansions already underway, the future of the port is strong regardless of whether that's in private or public hands. As far as the port goes, we do provide that strong and robust financial uh, capability for any uh, future potential uh, lessee of the port. The final decision on port's privatisation plans will be made later this year. Should those profits stay in the pockets of the people of this community and those of New South Wales, or should they go into the pockets of big business and offshore? Paul Glover, Win News.